Hi everyone! So, my name is Rocio, or Rosie. I'm the owner of Sparkling Punk. Uh, Y'all normally see me in like voiceovers, <laughs> but I want to try to start doing more like talking studio vlogs. Um, my studio vlogs tend to be like staggered out um, a little bit far back just because I also run another YouTube channel called uh, Rocio Jimenez Cosplay because I'm a cosplayer on top of everything and then that's like cosplay and just like everything else not so much business sometimes I put business stuff on there but not so much business but um anyway <laughs> uh, it is January 2nd uh, 2021 and it is 10 45 p.m. I just got my new camera. I was like, okay, this is this is a good time to like actually do a video, like face to face, because I have webcams, because I'm also a Twitch streamer. But with a camera, it's it's like a different experience. So here I am. Uh, I had to do a lot today, but we ended up getting a new car instead. My boyfriend did, not me. So. Many of y'all know dealerships normally take like 34 hours, so that's what we ended up doing today. So I'm catching up on stuff now. Anyway, welcome to my studio vlog today. Um, this is gonna be studio vlog. Oh my gosh, what what studio vlog am I on now? Um, da, 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 let, let me see what. This is Studio Vlog 13. Oh my gosh, I'm on Studio Vlog 13 and I'm barely talking. Like face to face. <laughs> so, Studio Vlog 13. Um, I need to package some orders. So, I'm going to be packaging uh, commission orders. So, during winter time, I get beanie commission orders. So, I make room beanies. Um, because I focus on Halloween and handmade products year round. So, um, Halloween year round and handmade products. So, yeah, I make these beanies. And I got um, four to do. So, I made two blue and two purple. And I want to get them out um, by Monday. So, I need to package those up. And then I also got two orders on Etsy. I got one for um, a acrylic charm and then one for a mystery pack. So it's my first mystery pack ever, um, which I'm excited because I have like a selection of categories that people can tell me like, hey, you know, I like these top five categories. And I reached out to the person and they were like, Oh, no, just randomize it. So I'm really excited because I get to like choose different themes. So I'll probably like give them a little bit of everything and then probably include some freebies. So I'm excited about that. Let's see how it goes. So yeah, let's get started and I'm going to start getting everything ready for the orders. I need to make sure to not confuse them though, because I have two orders for a Samantha and a Samantha. Like, it was a coincidence, like, they don't even know each other. It's just two Samanthas, and I am i don't want to mix that up. <laughs> so, I'm like, ah! So, yeah, let, let's, let's go. Let's go do that. Let's do that. Sorry, I'm, like, really awkward. That tends to be why I'm not, like, behind the camera, even though on my cosplay channel I am behind the camera, but never, like, talking, because I'm a really awkward person, just in general. I tend to be in my shell all the time, but I can be very like, ah, also, you just got to get to know me. I just need to get comfortable. <laughs> all right, let's go do that, y'all. <laughs> all right, welcome to my studio slash office. This is where everything happens. I wish it was more organized and beautiful like a lot of other YouTubers, but I do live in a small two-bedroom apartment. And I share an office with my boyfriend because we work from home. But let's start out by getting the first piece of the first order I got um, from Etsy. 
So it is an acrylic charm for my shop update that I just did. Um, this is called the Love Ghost um, Charm Acrylic Keychain. I love it. it. has a little like star as the clasp. So I need that and then I include a business card as well as a complimentary sticker and a complimentary bookmark. So I'll probably need three business cards, right? Because I got, um, actually, well, this is a gift. So let's might as well just bring, bring all of this. So let's see, we got two Etsy orders. I have, um, three, well, yeah, three beanies here. Um, that are for different people, and then two, two of them, so two of them are going to the same household, three of them are going to, um, sorry, the other two are going to a different household, so I need three business cards for those, um, they're just wanting me to send them all together in one pack, and then, um, let's see, so we got two, three, so that is all set with the, the business cards. Um, I also include a complimentary bookmark, so I make these bookmarks. Um, these are my first trial run bookmarks that I have made so far. Let me get the light on these. Um, so each order comes with a complimentary bookmark. So let me go ahead and include... I'll include one bookmark in here. Um, actually, let's all include a bookmark for each one. Why not? So there we go. And then we need a complimentary uh, sticker. So let's do that. I do apologize for the lighting in here. Um, that's actually one of the things that I actually struggle with is lighting in my apartment. Um, I really want to get better lighting but the thing is we are moving to a house um at the end of this lease anyway so i'm like just patiently waiting to get better lighting like i have to use not natural lighting for most of my product photos and it gets really tough so i also include a thank you card so they're up here. Sorry, I'm like, not even... Oh, those are my sticker sheets. Each person gets a thank you card that I actually personally write behind it. So we're going to have three. And then three. All right. So the next one is, um, so I'm going to need a box of those for this big beanie order because they're going to be nicely packaged. This is where I keep the rest of my other stock as well as my cosplay stuff and fabric, as you can see. Um, but I have a bunch of like skirts and stuff because I have mystery bags for handmade skirts. And then I have like these pillows that I made, um, and then I have a bunch of prints. So my next order is actually a mystery pack, but I'm going to need a SPS box for the beanie order. So let's take this out here um, and let's just put it down here. For the other order, I just need a poly mailer and I keep my poly mailers in here. So, um, I ended up getting a bunch of poly mailers from my mom. She was like, oh, here you go. I knew you'd use them. So, I'm using all the poly mailers I have right now for that. So, the other order is a mystery pack order. So, since this is my first one, it's going to be very, um, randomized. So, let's see what we got for it. So they ordered the mystery grab bag with two prints, 
three stickers, um, earrings and necklace, and a randomized. So I'm thinking of doing a set of Animal Crossing earrings and necklace. So I believe Animal Crossing is here somewhere. I need to get better at labeling my little area here. So I don't do like much fan art stuff now, but um, the mystery packs are pretty much to just clearance out my previous inventory. So they're all discontinued inventory. Anything that's in a mystery pack is discontinued inventory, meaning it is not going to be Halloween. Um, so all this stuff is discounted by like a ton. So these are the little DIYs. So we'll do that. And then we have uh, two prints and three stickers. So we have a bunch of stickers um, to choose from. They're all up here. So up there. Um, let's see. So these are my sticker packs. I sell those as sets, but I actually have to get them on top of the window to look at these. So let's see, we want to do, let's do a Bulbasaur sticker. So these are all drawn by me and then I get them printed by sticker mules. So this was drawn with Copic markers and gel pens as well as micron pens. So, and then I get them scanned and printed. So let's do a Bulbasaur. And um, I don't know if she likes Akko, but I think an Akko, little witch academia, academia Akko, I don't know, this will focus, getting used to this new camera. And let's see, who else can we include? Um, Lilo is by herself, so let's do Lilo. So there are three stickers right there, I think I said three stickers. So we got three stickers and earrings and a necklace and then we got two prints so let's go look at my prints and see what we got in the print section so i have my halloween prints but i also have like all my other prints um let's do huh, i have so many options here I, I really like my cat dog. My cat dog is one of my favorites, so I think I'll include a cat dog one. And then we'll include a... Uh, let's see. They're all kind of categorized in a way. We'll do a Bulma. Cat dog, a Bulma. She said random, so it's literally randomizing it here. So many options. Um, don't know. Let's do a Miss and Mrs. Haiti. Okay, so we got a Mrs. Hades, a Bulma, and a cat dog. That seems pretty random. Um, and then I said I was going to include some freebies, so I'll see what I can throw in the bag. Um, I have a bunch of stuff I can do. Maybe I'll include an extra sticker. Um, we'll see. So, I believe that completes that. Because we did... Two prints, three stickers, a pair of earrings, and a necklace. So. And then a freebie. Let's see. Freebie. 
Maybe some scrunchies as a freebie might be a good one to do. We'll have to take off my old labels. Um, but I have like these fruit ones. Oh no, the camera won't focus. How can I get you to focus the camera? There we go. So yeah, I got like these fruit ones. Um, I think it might go well with the whole like Animal Crossing vibe. So maybe I'll include some of these. All right, freebies. You can see I'm still getting used to this camera. <laughs> so I have to take off that label. Um, so they are discontinued products, so actually I don't like having that. <sighs> Rebranding is really hard. <laughs> so yeah, that makes up that order. Um, I actually think I'm gonna include four because I am getting four beanies, meaning it's going to four different people. So I'll actually include a thank you note with each one, and then I also hand stamp all of my, um, I hand stamp all of my tissue paper, which I keep in here, as well as include, um, confetti, and then a baggie depending on the size of stuff, so if it's smaller then I do include like a little baggie. So I need to get this tissue paper out. And then I already have my stamps and ink on my desk, so that is good to go. Alright, so let me go ahead and print out more, um, more of these I think I need. I will see. Alright, I'll be right back. We will see what I'm going to do. Okay, so I am back. I had to make some new bookmarks because I ran out. Um, I actually have a laminator. Now I used to hand laminate everything, so these look super nice. And then I did slightly mess up on my logo. Um, so the other ones, I mean, um, this was like flipped, but the other ones will have some of my old ones. And then some of the orders will have some of the new ones. You know, because printing is expensive, my printer ink is very expensive, it's almost $200 for all of them. So, um, yeah, I am going to use those. Those are freebies anyway. So let's get started with my orders here. Um, I think doing the Etsy orders first would be best. So let's get started with those. Let me move all of this aside and let me just pull up the Etsy orders um, on my computer. All right, so let's do this. All righty, um, we're gonna be packaging um, the acrylic um, keychain order first and I'm going to show y'all how I do this. It is 12 a.m. already, so after printing and laminating and cutting and all of that, um, it got pretty late, but I still need to do all of this, so let's do it. Um, I do hand stamp my uh, tissue paper as well, so we might have some music playing and I'll probably be watching some YouTube videos. Um, I need to catch up on uh, Geraldine Draw's YouTube videos, so I'll probably watch some of hers while I pack. So, yeah, let's get packing. Alright, and while we do that, I'm gonna watch some videos. Welcome back to my channel. This is Josie. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and uh, had lots of good food and presents as well, or just got to uh, spend time relaxing with your family members. 
Um, but this week we're gonna do a little something different. I'm not gonna show my face at all this time <laughs> because I don't really need to. Um, today we are going to talk about what I draw with and my three favorite drawing programs. I'm not sure if I ever told you guys what I draw with, but I figured I should. So, as you can see, I'm including a, a thank you card, a handwritten thank you card, the complimentary laminated bookmark, um, this business card, and then my complimentary sticker. Um, this is for the first Samantha. So, I'm going to go ahead and slip that into this little baggie. Um, that they can reuse and then I am going to include their um, charm um, keychain in there and then I'm also going to go ahead and put some confetti um, whatever my confetti has disappeared to ah, here it is so, some little confetti at the bottom. And this is always, I think, like, my fun part. I love putting little confetti in there. Um, just sprinkled throughout. Doesn't need to be a lot. And once that is complete, I then just tie up the baggie a little bit. And then it goes into its um, wrapping, which is either one of these tissue papers. I choose it depending on what will complement it the best, and I think it's going to be the green. So I end up getting a tissue paper out, so let me go ahead and do that. do um, orange for the other one. I'm going to get a green tissue paper. I think I'm just going to end up leaving this out because I'm going to need tissue paper again here in a bit. So I do end up hand stamping this. So I do end up putting a piece of paper underneath my tissue paper and I always start out with my thank you stamp. Um, it's funny because I just cleaned these. I try to clean them on a regular basis um, but it's really difficult to because it can be a very tedious process but it is super nice to just stay on top of that. So I do three different colors on here, um, starting with my black. So let's go ahead and stamp. is done and what I end up doing is it usually dries really fast so I end up flipping it over and then I am going to go ahead and put the um the charm in its packaging 
Um, I do want to take a picture because I think it looks so cute. This is actually my first um, charm that I'm packaging keychain charm, so I think it'd be a cute little product picture. I think that's super cute. So the way I package is I do it like a gift. So I base it down. So pretty much if you purchase from me, um, your package is gonna be packaged like a gift. So whether it is for a friend or yourself, um, it is really nice because it feels like you're always getting a personalized gift. I also need to get little tags. So little, I do these little um, dot tags to seal it up on each end. I'm gonna go ahead and get my little tags. Here they are, and these little like black label tags that I put on each end. That one is done. So I just slip this right in to a bubble mailer. And all I gotta do is make sure that I put it in the put the tag on it, seal it, and all that way in. All that interesting jazz. So I'm gonna put that one aside. Next we have our second Samantha. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her order ready. It is the same process with the card, um, the sticker, and the um, the, the uh, business card. So card and card. <laughs> One downside that I did notice about this program is it seems like I can only... Alright, so we are going to go ahead and include this in a baggie as well. Um, she gets a baggie because she ordered a, um, a pack, pretty much a mystery pack, which comes with stickers. So it comes with three stickers. Um, I decided to include Bulbasaur. Lilo and Akko from Little Witch Academia. So I'm gonna go ahead and include those in there. And then she also um, got earrings and um, a necklace. I normally have these like on a nice backing card and um, a clear sleeve. So I'm thinking of actually just uh, changing this out right now. I am gonna keep it in its current um, backing cards because it is from my old branding. I don't want to go ahead and uh, use any of the new branding right now because I, I do want to use the materials I have. So I'm going to go ahead and change out these baggies so I can put them in here instead of these little Ziploc ones. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me grab those. Alright, so normally I have these backing cards. 
but we aren't going to be using these backing cards. We're going to be using um, these backies right here. I do buy these in bulk. And it'll keep her products nice and protected because they are going to go in the bubble mailer as well. So let's go ahead and do that. I also want to keep these on the backing cards because they are the DIY cards. Um, I actually made these, printed them myself, um, and I actually drew them. Um, so I wanted to keep them on these backing cards since it's a pineapple and I think Animal Crossing has, you know, like a bunch of fruits and stuff. I know they don't have the like, pineapples, but still it kind of just goes with the theme. So. Alright, these are kind of an awkward shape bag, but it is way better than having them in the, um, the other bags I had. So let me see if I can put them in at an angle. Oh, do, 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 do. awkward angle. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe not. Let's just put them the way they were. Ah, these little things always stick on me. I think she'll have to. Um, the little DIYs, I didn't want to glue them in there because they would have like been all weird. Um, or I would have accidentally dropped it or it would have looked weird because it's paper. So they flip around and it's just insane. Alright, so let's get this little necklace. It also has a little DIY bottle on it. I'm going to put it in the baggie as well. Maybe I can put this one in straight. This one is easier to flip around. Much better. All right. Perfect. So that is that. And then she also has her prints. Um, that she gets and I am including um, a complimentary scrunchies pack so it's gonna be her prints let's see what order do I want these in let's do cat dog Bulma, and then I'm gonna do it like this and I'll put the scrunchies right on the back and it is gonna go in a um, tissue paper wrap as well so I'm gonna need to stamp that so I'm gonna move this to the side <laughs> is done and let's go ahead and get this order in oh i do need to remove these because this is for con pricing i was getting ready for a convention and what ended up happening is 
all conventions got canceled due to COVID. So, um, <laughs> all of my pricing and stuff that I had ready kind of went down the drain, but it's okay. Um, okay, just making sure these are still in order on how I want these packed. Alrighty, so now that we have this facing down like a gift, let's go ahead and wrap. The same concept goes for this one with the little black tags. They're honestly awesome. I got them off Amazon. I need to get them in a bunch of different colors. Black is best suited for my business. Sometimes the packaging can get Okay, so apparently my video randomly cut. Um, I just put the other one in its package and that's pretty much how that order ended. Um, it gets put into the poly mailer like that. So the bubble mailer. So next I have the beanies. Um, each one's gonna have a card. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the cards right now. This order was actually for my boyfriend's family. Um, his mom ordered uh, four, well, yeah, four beanies. So we got one for her, one for her friend, one for another friend, and then one for her son. So I am being a little more personal with these just because they are for people I know um, and they're pretty much family. So that is pretty much how I'm writing out the cards um, and then on two of these uh, they're actually surprise gifts so I pretty much just put the instructions on there and didn't really thank them as a customer because they didn't purchase it you know but I did say I hope you enjoyed your beanie and uh, put wash instructions in there for them so each one's gonna have their own little packaging um, I think I'm gonna give um, them green uh, tissue paper um, because I think that's gonna look best with the blue and purple so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and grab that um, let me go ahead and just stack these and then we will get started on those and as you all saw I do have like these little clips for um, orders that aren't gonna be in baggies uh, these are super nice I got them on Amazon as well, and I do really like them to put all of the little papers together. It's my 
and shoulders, so I invested in a wagon. I don't drive since I live in the city, so a wagon has been a huge help to drop off big batches of orders. Since they're already paid and ready, all I have to do is drop it off and I'm done. And to follow my orders, I have a separate business email so people can contact me if there are any issues. My store has a FAQ section and a mission statement so people know exactly what to expect when they make an order for my house. I also have a short talk and show highlight on my Instagram. I keep a separate checking account just for my business and business expenses. That way it's easier when I have to do taxes. I do. So it is now 1.48 in the morning and I finished packing the orders for the most part. Uh, one of them I just need to put into its box. Um, here they are down here. Um, let's the, ignore the extra tissue paper but those are all going in one box, and then we got two orders right there. Um, I don't get many orders yet. Um, goals, right? Goals, we all have goals. Um, but yeah, so three orders is awesome. I'm really excited to get those packaged completely. I am very exhausted though, it's almost two in the morning, so I will have to finish it tomorrow. So I will do that tomorrow well technically today because it's already january 3rd um but yeah we will finish it later today <laughs> all right i am gonna do that but i'm gonna go to bed first <laughs> i need to sleep i am so tired Alrighty. hello so we're on our way to the post office um, to drop off some packages. I got three packages to drop off. so i hope you enjoyed that studio vlog um i had a lot of fun uh filming it it was honestly the longest one and it was the first one with my new camera so i do apologize if there was any like funky moves or, or like focuses with the camera i'm still getting used to my new camera but i hope you all enjoyed the studio vlog 13 um that is my longest vlog yet um if you all liked this kind of vlog go ahead and put them in the comments below and then i'll make sure to make longer vlogs um but yeah i had so much fun don't forget to like and subscribe y'all i love seeing um you know the support i'm just like ah when I do get a subscription um, or even comment down below just say hello um, I love saying hello to you um, I do want to say real quick if you do wonder why I record at night um, I do work a full-time job I'm a full-time instructional designer you know work a regular 7 a.m. to 3 30 p.m. sometimes 4 p.m. job so I cannot make videos until after work um, so yeah I, I kind of have to use unnatural lighting, you know, I wish I could use natural lighting like other YouTubers and stuff, but that's honestly strictly on the weekends, and if I only did that, I would like never get anything done, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, y'all. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!